fact, um, he may be struggling uh, as far as the qualification spot for the 100 kilo categories as uh, Leonardo Lecher as well is sniffing around there. Let's see what happens between this pair. This for me is the, uh, the right kind of size and build for the under 100 kilo category. Both of them are tall, athletic, you know, strong built fighters. Huang is the, uh, the other end of the scale. He's short, he's stocky. He's got that little bit of extra weight, you know, rolling around in yeah. the, 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 the tummy area, <laughs> you know. <laughs> he's always got, you always have the feeling that he might lose a couple of kilos and, and not miss it. Tufshin Bayer is the Tufshin same. Bayer, yeah, yeah. They're pretty um, evenly matched as well, Huang and um, yeah. Tufshi. I wonder if we're going to see that match up today. I'm not sure what the, uh, the draw holds in store. Maxim Rakov is the, uh, the number one seed, the world champion from 2009 and the uh, Masters winner. Well, they can, they can meet each other in the sem in semi-finals. Yeah, Naida and Tushin Bayer is the number two seed here. Huang is the number three. So they could meet in the semi-final. What normally happens is that the number one and the number four seed get put in the same half. And then the two and three. So if you're number one, you get the best, best draw. You don't get number two, obviously three also goes down there so that the one gets the number four that's the theory anyway we'll see whether that uh, works out at the end of the day almost uh, two minutes gone Armentero picking up uh, a warning for a gripping infringement he was uh, holding on one side of the, uh, the jacket for too long without attacking I'm not that sure that Correa wasn't doing the same thing there but anyway it's um, the Cuban who goes behind 250 odd left to go and uh, Korea leading by a Yuko oh, nice Uchikari hit. and it's Econ yeah that yeah. for me is you know yeah. <laughs> done beautifully nice done hit. as 